Good morning. It's Sunday, 2nd of October. Just got back from work and full week at work. And to be honest, it doesn't feel like I've had any time off. Seems ages since last Sunday when me and Joe were going to church and having a bit of fun. Um, when I say fun, I meant and travelling around. So I thought it's best I make a start on these video blogs about Joe's visit. This one's called Works Up Fun. I'll come on to that in a bit. Been getting through my head how it's going to evolve. First one's going to be Works Up Fun. The second one is actually from the last day that Joe was here, which was last Monday, and that's the Pilgrim Fathers. <laughs> Doing these two together because it's in the workshop area. Third one's going to be Durham Fun, Durham Cathedral will be the fourth. Fifth one will be Ripon Fun. The sixth one will be a video because I took the video camera in and did like a walk round. The seventh one will be pictures. The eighth one will be when I went down into the crypt, the crypt church at Ripon. And the ninth one will be sort of the epilogue thing, like a usual. So there's actually going to be nine videos, nine videos. Lots of pictures and stuff like that. So what is the workshop fun? It's basically the two main days, sort of three days that we spent here. Uh, not a lot of pictures, it's only lasts about a couple of minutes. But there's a couple of things to point out. First one is a few pictures of the workshop priory, especially with Joe outside the main entrance. Because like I said, he did attend my church and we went into Holy Communion twice both on the Sundays. There's also pictures and this is going to be a theme around the, th the fun one. Quite a few pictures of pubs and Mason's look like a bit of alcoholics but <laughs> no, it was that gentle drinking. Have a pint here, let's have a walk. Have another pint or a couple of pints, let's have a walk. At the churches, it you was attending church for morning prayers, communion, have a little walk round, have a drink, and go back to the church, etc. But lots of pictures of pubs and stuff like that. We had a good time. Both adults, were sensible. We didn't go back to the hotel or we'd come back here absolutely k lied as we would say in the UK. But we put away some a decent amount of real ale. Right, in the fun one, there's a couple of things to point out to you. The there's a picture of the Licorice Gardens, that's where we went I took him for a meal the first night he was here. Which was the seventeenth, uh, seventeenth September. There's also a picture of the place called the Ship Inn. Some call it the old Ship Inn, the Ship Inn, or just the ship. What's quite interesting in this is you'll see from the pictures, and I didn't take a picture of this as a stock photo off the internet. There's a lot of timbers and inside there's a lot more timber. It's a very old pub, one of the oldest pubs in Worksop. And the story goes, I don't know if it's fact, fiction, or just elaboration. But they're saying a lot of the timbers came from when the Navy decommissioned some of the wooden ships, and some of them ships partook in the uh, Trafalgar, I think it was Trafalgar, and uh, not Trafalgar. Um, Oh, crikey, the brain's gone. 
the sea battles. So this, when they decommissioned the ships, these wooden beams and stuff were shipped around the country, shipped around the country, and some of it was incorporated in the shipping. Supposed to be a very haunted pub. I've drunk there a few times. I will say I have never seen anything, heard anything, or anything happen to me. What's quite interesting is uh, in the cellar they're saying you, you should see Roman soldiers walk in, but you only see them from sort of thigh high. And the story goes that not far from there is Castle Hill, which was an ancient Roman fort. And it's the soldiers marching backwards and forwards to the fort. The reason they seem thigh high, you don't see the lower legs, because the roads at that time were a lot lower. So they're actually walking on the old roads. Um, it's also rumours about there's a hidden passageway taking you through to Welbeck, where there's two stories that either the Duke at that time was disfigured, somebody says something like a port, big port wine stain, or, which I think is more interesting story, he used to go to the ship in, uh, hire a room out, and should we say invited ladies over for some pleasure before going on this underground passageway back to Welbeck. Lots of rumours about these underground passageways. One's supposed to go to the railway station and not sure if it's true, it's local folklore type of thing. The next one we went to was, uh, again it's a stock photo, is the Lion Gates. It, it's part of the Dukeries estate. As I've, I think I've said before, we're classed as the gateway to the Dukeries. Phone's gone. <laughs> Gateway to the Dukeries. And, ooh! Be quite interesting this. Message from Joe Kersey. He's sending me messages about beer again. <laughs> <laughs> Probably came in from last night. What was I saying? Um, Goes to the Welbeck Abbey, these line gates. Never ever seen them open. Don't know if they, when they say the Welbeck Abbey, don't know if it's an abbey like a church or a building or whatever. It's part of the Welbeck estate. Gateway to the Dukeries, lots of estates around here Welbeck, uh, Clumber Park, uh, Rufford, Thorsby, all owned by different dukes. Can't remember which dukes own. Which piece of land? It, it doesn't really matter. It's, but it's one of these things that we've got these big estates, big countryside. You can go and visit. There's an entrance fee, but you can go and visit. So I decided to put that on, and then in the pictures you'll see us having a laugh, a joke, a bit of fun, a bit of camera fun in the house. Him taking pictures of me, me taking pictures of him. So it's just a general introduction really, the works are fun, it's going to be a laugh and a joke. Uh, like I says on Tuesday I went up to Durham, the swine began to make me feel a bit jealous because while I was getting ready for work all I got was messages from him saying sat in the pub having a pint of so and so, sat in the pub having a pint of so and so. I've moved pubs and now I'm sat in a different pub on a pint of so-and-so and it's me getting ready for work. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, this is basically just a bit of introduction, uh, a few photos and then when we come on to the Scrooby thing to get more interested and more, there'll be a lot more pictures. I will do an introduction to each of the videos and stuff like that so you can tell. But yes, yeah, so Joe is, uh, I says he sent me a message here saying, 
is we sat in the pubs, it's a family pub. He was sat there. Again, especially sat drinking. So yeah, this is the first video. I'm calling it Works Up Fun, even though the lie says there's a couple of pictures of the Works of Prairie. And then hopefully, either later on tonight or even early tomorrow morning, I'll put up the screw uh, the Pilgrim Father's way, which is screw being Babworth. So this is the first video of nine. Hope you enjoy. I enjoyed the time we had together. I think Joe enjoyed the time we had together. Like I says he's still sending me messages, so I couldn't have basically pissed him off. <laughs> so, speak on the next video.